When it comes to the Czech Republic, the first city that everyone thinks of must be Prague. However, in the south of the Czech Republic, there are also many beautiful and romantic places. This November, my boyfriend and I travel to the south of the Czech Republic for our third anniversary. In today's video, we will explore the small towns in the south of the Czech Republic, Mikulov and Kromlov with us. And then, I will recommend some interesting places and activities for you. I hope it will be helpful for you if you are going to travel there in the future. On the first day of our trip, we drove to Mikulov. Autumn in Mikulov is very beautiful. The autumn red leaves are a perfect match for the old buildings full of history. You can capture good photos in any corner. This is one of the small corners I like very much. There is a castle in the center of the town called Mikulov Castle, which overlooks the entire town. Till the night time laps, we're in the daytime strand. Your self esteem. When you come to Mikulov, the activity you must not miss is one tasting. This is a very famous wine producing area in the Czech Republic with many vineyards and wineries. This is simply a paradise for alcoholics. Every few steps, there's a shop where you can go in and have a drink. During the two days in Mikulov, I was basically drunk. My very one tasting shop is called Vinoteca Mikulov. There's a self-service wine tasting machine in the store. So basically in this store, you can buy a card and use the card to swipe the machine. And then the wines will just come out of the machine. After tasting all of the provided wines, you can decide which bottles of wine you will end up buying. I just like how convenient and thoughtful the service can be. Woke up the next morning and was, well, hangover. We found a great vegan restaurant with creative dishes. I ordered a hamburger. The bun was potato replaced pancake. by potato pancakes. It's different from the normal vegan burger. It was so delicious and crispy. After eating, we wandered around the town casually and then we drove the car to Kromlov. Every speck of weather is impeccable when you are near. Welcome to Truth Kromlov! The hostel we stayed in was by the river in the old town. It has a big backyard and you can see the beautiful scenery of the castle from the backyard. After getting up in the morning, we went to an open-air restaurant in the old town for brunch. We were chilling by the river in the sunshine, accompanied by the sound of gurgling water, which was very pleasant. It's my sandwich. It's yours? Mm -hmm. The town was so beautiful, with the romantic atmosphere. Everywhere is a landscape. I'm gonna recommend three scenic spots that are very good for photography, and I think they must not be missed. The first one is the Chesky Kronlov Castle Tower. You need to buy tickets to go up the tower, and you must climb the stairs. I feel like every time when we go to a European city, we just have to climb the stairs because you always, always want to go to the top of a castle. Hmm? Or the view? Each European city. Uh -huh. It's called the tower. After climbing to the top floor, you can overlook the whole town. The scenery on the tower was stunning. I mean, look at this.
By the way, there are two brown bears in front of the gate of the tower. They're super cute. The second attraction I recommend is the Cloak Bridge. After getting out of the castle tower, you can turn left and walk a few hundred meters to reach the bridge. Sitting there on the bridge and taking photos is really nice. In addition, the bridge can also overlook the landscape of the town, which is also stunning. The third place you have to go is inside the old town. In the old town, most of the streets are made of stone, and the old houses on both sides of the street are full of history. Walking on the street, you can see the castle tower not far away when you look up. There are many souvenir shops worth visiting in the old town, such as this nostalgic store, which displays antique collections from the old times. For this very artistic jewelry store, most of the jewelry here is made of copper. In addition, we also went to a small shop selling local handmade products. We bought candles and one with fruit flavor. The fruit one tastes really good. After getting dark, the shops in the old town are mostly closed. But don't worry, the bars are open! We went drinking every night during our stay in Kromlov. I would like to recommend a few places for you to drink with great atmosphere. The first one is a bar called Zapabarczewski Kromlov. The bar inside looks like a cave, such an European old house style. The bartender made the cocktails for us according to our taste, and most of the drinks he made for us were very creative. I got few on my drink. The second place I would recommend for drinking is an open air cafe called Drunken Coffee. Although this is a coffee shop, you can order one and some basic cocktails. Cheers! Happy 3th anniversary! <laughs> One thing I like this place is that you can see the night view of the tower and the castle on the other side of the river. The third place I like for drinking, well, is the riverside next to the backyard of the hostel where we stayed. One night we just moved the benches from the backyard to the riverside, sitting there, drinking and chatting. It was so romantic. <laughs> okay, that's all for today. I hope the information in this video is helpful to you. If you like our videos, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you next time. Bye!